Hi, this is Ron Erickson at the Yankee Hill Winery Cooking School. Today we're going to begin to make up ciabatta bread. And to do this, we have to make up a pre-ferment. And so a pre-ferment is where we take 100% of the water and 50% of the flour and 50% of the yeast. And we mix that up the day before we want to make the bread. And so here I'm going to add in our flour. And then I want half a teaspoon of yeast. And then we just stir this in. And we want this so that all of it's stirred in so all of the dry ingredients are absorbed. So we want it kind of smooth. And so we just keep doing this until we get it so it's just kind of a liquid. And so there we have it. And then I'm now I use cold water with this. And I'm just going to put a lid on this and we are going to leave this overnight so that it will start to ferment and our yeast will start to go. And what this is going to do is this is with the natural bacteria that is within the, the flour and that it will create the flavor that we want in the ciabatta bread. So we'll leave this and we'll come back to it tomorrow. Okay, we have let the dough rest overnight and now we've added some more flour to it and I'm going to add about a teaspoon of yeast and then I'm going to add one half tablespoon of salt. Now we want to mix this. We may have to add a little more flour to it, we will see, or water, either one. And then we want to test it for the gluten that is in the bread. We may have to leave this. I'm going to add just a little more flour in there. And I'll take a scraper and just scrape down the flour that's gotten around the edges. Now by leaving this overnight, this has produced a lot of flavor. It's not quite sour dough, but it is close. Okay, so we'll just let that, the flour kind of goes against the wall of the bowl, and then this will pull it off and slowly start to mix it. Okay, 
and you can see it coming together. And we want this to clean up the bowl, which means that as this goes around, it will continue to pull the dough that is stuck to the side of the bowl. And so I'm going to set the timer for 15 minutes. And so here we've had this going for just about 15 minutes now. And so we'll stop the mixer. And then we can drop the bowl on down. And what we're looking for is this dough to have a lot of stretch. And so if we were to pick it up, we want it to kind of stretch out, see like this. It's pulling apart a little bit, but as we let this rest for the second time, that is going to really develop the gluten. So we'll just take the bowl off, set it there, and we'll put a lid on it. We're going to let this set until it doubles in size. So we'll check our dough and here it is doubled in size. And so what we'll be doing is then taking it out of the bowl And we'll put lots of flour down. We want to be real careful getting it out of the bowl. Because we want to keep as much air in the bread as possible. And so right here, you can see the gluten structure. You can see the strands of gluten. And that's what we're looking for because that will let the bread raise up real nice. And so then here, we will take this and sprinkle a little flour over the top. And then I want to divide this up. We can take this and divide it in half, and this will make two very large loaves. And the neat thing about ciabatta bread, by the way, ciabatta means slipper in Italian. And so it gets that name from the shape. And you just fold it over once, like this. And then we'll do it again on this one. And that's it. You don't, don't need to roll the bread or shape it in any way other than that. And then here, I have a pan with a uh, parchment on it. And so I'm just going to stretch the bread out and set it right there, like that. And then we can leave this here for probably, we want this to double again in size. And so, you know, it should be about like that. And so I'm going to take just a piece of plastic. I've sprayed it with a pan spray on the other side. 
and we'll just let that lay there and see how our bread does. So meanwhile, I'm going to uh, turn the oven on. It on to 450 degrees and we'll get that to heat up real nice. Okay so now our bread has raised up again. We're going to take this and put it right in the oven. And while it's in the oven we're going to just give it a spray and that will create steam. And you can do this in your regular oven at home. And now this should bake for approximately 25-30 minutes. Okay, so our bread is ready. We'll take it out of the oven. And here we have some nice big loaves of ciabatta bread. And so there we go. Looks beautiful. Smells great. And so this is kind of why it's called ciabatta. It'll look like a slipper. And here I'll get my cutting board out and we'll cut some. Okay, so look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Wonderful pieces. And so that's Wonderful ciabatta bread. So here's our wonderful ciabatta bread. Just nice big eyes and just tastes wonderful. So please give this a try. And it takes a couple times. It may take you making this five times in order to give it. Now the recipe would be four cups of flour, a teaspoon of salt, half a tablespoon of yeast, and then one and a half cups of water. So you start with your water and then two cups of flour and half a tablespoon of yeast. And that will make your pre-ferment and you let that set overnight. And then you add the rest of the flour, another half tablespoon of yeast, and then your salt and then you mix that in a mixer preferably for 15 minutes and then you let it raise up until it doubles in size 
turn it out on the board, and fold it in half and put it on a baking sheet and let it rise up again. And that will make just a wonderful loaf of bread. And I baked this for approximately 25 minutes. So, I drink to your health when I'm with you. I drink to your health when I'm alone. I drink to your health so damn much, I'm ruining my own. Skull.